Welcome, my beautiful Gemini. We're going to take a look at what's going on with Gemini. See what's happening. Get a message for you. Okay, so what messages do we have for Gemini? Spirit, what messages do we have for Gemini? Okay, overall, ooh, the Six of Wands. I'm liking it, the sun. Ooh. The Five, excuse me, the Eight of Cups. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, we have the Five of Cups, the World Card, the Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Just enough cards. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, at the bottom we have the Ten of Wands energy. So I feel like overall, your energy, you're very successful right now, Gemini. I feel like people are really seeing you. They're seeing your accomplishments. And I feel like you have a lot of things on your plate. You're carrying a lot of burdens. You know, there's a lot of things that you could be doing. You could be very busy in this month. I feel like a lot of things are going on for you. You're being recognized by a lot. You know, we have the sun card here at the top. So I feel like you're focused on your, abund your abundance. You're focused on your happiness. And you're currently going through a lot of changes. Now, the Sun card can also be an awakening, a spiritual awakening. So I feel like this time in the month of May here, you're going through this spiritual awakening that's bringing you through these new cycles. But I feel like these cycles are for your greater good, right? Um, it's going to bring you a lot of good fortune, uh, good luck. Your luck is changing. You're seeing things from a different perspective. But you're definitely going through cycles. You may be ending a, ending a cycle and starting a new cycle. Okay? But this, this is good changes happening for you with the world card and the, the wheel of fortune. Okay. So the wheel of fortune. This is Pisces energy. Right? We have Leo. We have... The world card, which is fire energy. Is that fire energy? I believe that's fire energy. Yeah. Okay. But um, my beautiful Gemini, I feel like a lot of things are unfolding for you this month. There's a lot of changes happening for you. There's a lot of things that you'll be doing. I feel like you're completing cycles and you may be traveling too. Um, when I'm looking at the sun card, I'm seeing... Um, it's really reminding me of like a motorcycle going on a trip, on a road trip. Maybe on a vacation. But I'm really seeing a motorcycle for some of you. Okay? Take it how it resonates. Leave what doesn't. Okay? So, when we're looking at the second row, we're going to clarify these cards too. But when we're looking at the second row, I feel like there is something that you're leaving behind. There's something that you're letting go of. Because you know that it's going to bring you more success. This may have to do with past energy. This may have to do with an ex energy trying to come back. I feel like... You know, if this is an ex coming back, I feel like this is changes. I want to say changes to your family. There's something that you're releasing. There's something that you're letting go of. Okay? There's something that you're pushing past. But you know that it's all for your success. You know, you want to be happy. You want to be recognized. You want to feel uh, boosted up, you know, have this glow up energy. And if we see this, we're looking at the sun, 
to the Six of Wands, to the Four of Swords. So I feel like in the month of May, you may be a little selfish, Gemini, because I feel like you're focusing on yourself here. You're focusing on your healing, on your recovery. Um, but there's definitely a focus to put more energy into yourself, into your own healing, into being able to relax and rest more, right? Um, because you're really feeling like, you know, you're overburdened. There's a lot you need to do. And I feel like a lot of things are weighing on you. You know, I'm, I'm seeing that you know, you could be the breadwinner or you could be the person who takes care of everything, right? We have the Wheel of Fortune to the Six of Wands to the Five of Cups. So again, something you're releasing, you know, something that you're letting go of. And I feel like this is something that is bringing a lot of heartbreak. You could be letting go of a third party situation, right you could be letting go of heartbreak of sadness for some of you i do get this third party situation though there's something that you're releasing because you're going through changes you're going through changes For some of you, I feel like you're you're letting something go so that this isn't a third party situation because you're focusing more on yourself. That could be the reason why the Six of Cups is here. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Spirit, give me a message for Gemini. Why is the Sun here? Give me a message for the Sun. The Judgment card. A rebirth taking yourself out of your comfort zone I feel like Gemini you may have been in the stuck energy for a while you have been waiting for something to happen waiting for something to transpire and now with this judgment in the Sun card I feel like things are unfolding now you're being you're being taken out of your comfort zone to because you know it's going to bring more happiness i feel like that's the reason why the world and the will of fortune is here too because this is a big change i feel like you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're leaving something behind look at this the eight of cups the five of cups right and i, I feel like it's in a way i feel like you're grieving the situation because you feel like you're not sure if you need to leave it behind, but I feel like it's all for your greater good. It's all going to bring you more happiness. Um, but stepping out of your comfort zone is definitely going to be the driving point of these changes. Okay? Why is the world card here? Give me a message for the world card. Give me a message for the world card. Why is this here? The Four of Cups. Okay. I feel like you've missed a lot of opportunities in the past because something was holding you back. And now these opportunities are presenting themselves again and you're like, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let this opportunity pass me by again. I'm gonna make sure to accept this opportunity. This could be a new job, this could be a new love offer that's being offered to you. Uh, this could be taking you out of your comfort zone, taking you into a new location. Um, but I feel like you're definitely stepping out on faith, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you've been weighing your options for a long time about a situation changing. About these changes, you've been weighing your options. And you feel like now's the time to bring you more happiness. Even though you feel like you may have to stand up for what it is you believe in or what it is that you have your mind set for, I feel like it's going to bring you more happiness in the end. Um, okay. Give me a message. Okay. For the 
Eight of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're taking action to be more independent. I feel like you're leaving a situation. You're going to be on your own, maybe for the first time, Gemini. This could be you finding your independence for the very first time. Okay? Um, but I feel like you're pursuing your happiness. You are taking these actions for your greater good. You know, the Queen of Wands energy. We have this Four of Swords at the bottom again. So yeah, you're thinking about your own needs. You're, you're not putting other people first like you normally do. And I feel like you've been putting other people first for a very long time. Right? Um, but I feel like you have a lot of courage. You have a lot of passion. And you're trying to find that determination to become more independent, to find your independence, to find where you fit. That's the words that I'm getting, to find where you fit. Okay? Um, because you are... trying to have that recognition. You know, you want people to see you for who you are, what you bring to the table the for you to be rewarded for the efforts that you put in okay and i feel like some kind of past situation just left you feeling like you weren't being rewarded for the things that you were doing you weren't being seen or recognized you were just there right with the six of wands we have the two of wands And we have the Six of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're making plans. You you are going to become more successful. You're making plans. You're making efforts on what kind of choices you need to make in order to become more successful, in order to be more recognized. You know, this could be dealing with your money or dealing with your career aspect. But I feel like you're moving into a more peaceful surrounding. Things are going to start improving in your situation, okay? Because I feel like you're, you're putting your focus back on yourself. You're putting your focus on yourself, you know? You're, you're taking more care of yourself. You may be changing your, your diet, changing your habits, trying to lose weight, trying to gain weight. You know, wherever the body image fits, take it, okay? Why is the Six of Cups here? The Page of Cups. With the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Definitely. Okay. This is all about your emotions. I feel like you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of feelings. And you're letting new things come in. The Page of Cups, this is, you know, dreaming. Following your dreams. Believing the impossible is, is possible. Following your heart. So I believe that maybe you're leaving home. Maybe you're leaving a space that you called home or you're leaving the past because you're following your dreams and you're um, looking to pursue better options, you know? Um, I feel like you're looking for that security. You're looking for something long term. You're looking for something that's going to bring you protection. That's the word I'm getting, protection. What do you need protection from? Gemini. Why is the Five of Cups here? Give me a message. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Nine of Wands. There's something that you're leaving behind, Gemini, and you're not backing down. You've made a final decision, okay? Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, these are decisions. You know, the Nine of Wands, this is standing on the decision that you've made, not backing down, not letting down your guard.
okay so I feel like you made a decision that you feel is for your best you feel is for your higher good and you're not backing down on that decision you're like I'm it's set in stone okay it's set in stone this is what I'm doing because I feel like you're following your dreams this could be new love coming in for you too Gemini with this page of cups energy this could be someone offering you a surprise invitation surprise gift this could be a surprise offer out of nowhere right okay with the wow with the three of swords we have the sun the four pinnacles and the world card At the bottom, we have the Hierophants. You're learning how to find your happiness again after a lot of stress and heartbreak. You know, you're ending this cycle of heartbreak. We have the world here, we have the world here, we have the sun, okay? The Four of Pentacles wants to come out again. So I feel like you've been protecting yourself. You've been protecting your heart for a very long time. And now you're like letting something go. You've made a final decision. You're Now this decision is set in stone because you are ending the cycle of grief. You're like letting it go. Okay, this doesn't make me happy anymore. I'm going to go ahead and pursue something that does. Okay, you're teaching yourself this. You're teaching yourself how to love, how to be happy again by focusing on yourself. That's the reason why there's so many, um, the, the Four of Swords wanted to come out twice so far. That's the reason why that's come out twice. It's reconfirming. You're focusing on yourself. Give me a message. Why is the Four of Swords here? Give me a message, Spirit. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. You're trying to find com commit <laughs> contentment. I wanted to say commitment, right? Um, you're trying to find someone who's going to totally commit themselves to you. If this is love, okay? But you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your needs. And I feel like there's someone who's being very generous with you. There's someone who's not who's being very strategic. When it comes to thoughts of you. Look at this. The four of wands. The chariot. Look at all that yellow. This is happiness. This is beauty. This is being able to find that happiness. All the yellow cards. This is happiness and abundance. Right? With the Empress card. She's very fertile. She's nurturing. You know, she's the the ultimate manifester. She's also very, um, she's pursuing what she wants because she knows she can obtain it. Okay, the Page of Pentacles energy. This is the, the desire to want what you are aiming for. You know, putting that ambition in there. You know, craving that new adventure. And I feel like you've been craving this for a while. You've been craving that energy. Now, the Seven of Swords, this usually gets a really bad rap. But if you notice, this card is yellow. The yellow cards in the tarot are happiness and abundance. So, some, some readers see this as lying, cheating, and stealing. And sometimes it may mean that. But for the Seven of Swords... This is transitioning, you know. This is being very technical, being very strategic with your thoughts, okay. Because I feel like you're being very strategic when it comes to pursuing your happiness because we see the four of wands to the chariot card. So there, you're moving forward, you know. You're moving towards your happiness. You're moving towards feeling celebrated, being content. Having this beautiful community and celebration. 
Now, this Four of Wands can also mean marriage, right? So I feel like with this Chariot card right after that, you are definitely moving forward. You're, you're moving in the right direction of what you want. Now, this Eight of Wands energy, this is communicating. You know, someone may send you a message. Someone may send you some kind of message that you're not expecting, okay? Um, so I feel like there's a message coming to you very shortly. And I feel like it's going to be very unexpected energy. But this Nine of Cups energy, this is feeling very content. You know, pursuing your dreams, wish fulfillment. Okay? Let's see, I want to get one more card because I want to get nosy. Tell me more about this Two of Wands and Six of Wands. The Queen of Swords. You're speaking your truth. You're, you're receiving your clarity. Yeah, you're being very strategic with your thoughts. You know, you're, you, you have the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom, so I feel like you're, you're looking for the rewards for your efforts. You're, whatever past efforts that you put in, those rewards are going to be coming to you very shortly. And that's what's bringing this feeling of so much contentment. Look at all these yellow, right? This feeling of being rewarded, being recognized, finally. That's what's bringing on these world cards. You have two world cards here. Completion, two sun cards, happiness, right? And we also have the will of fortune, you know, good things happening. So let's go ahead and get some more energy for Gemini. Okay, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, okay? So I feel like definitely if you're in a relationship, I feel like you know, someone needs to remove this mask. If you're just pursuing a relationship, be aware of the situation because someone may not be telling you exactly how they feel about the situation. Okay? We also have religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual paths. Okay? So, there could be some spiritual next negativity when it comes to religion okay maybe a person that you're dealing with has a certain religion and you have a certain religion you know i, I feel like there's conflicts with that okay um we have you deserve love you are lovable okay so i feel like you know you need to know that right now you need to know that you know, what you've been through in the past does not define who you are. It doesn't say what your outcome is going to be, what you've been in the past. What you've been in the past is in the past. You have the future to look forward to in these big changes. You know, I feel like you're going through a sort of spiritual awakening, my beautiful Gemini. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. We have one, two, three, vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay on the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Your affirmation, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay? So... Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get your fortune oracle. And we'll go ahead and dip into the meaning of that. What do we have for Gemini? Okay, we have, what did I tell you? Transformation. Beautiful. Reach out for the power and the strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Okay. Transformation. 
transformation, the number 32, and that reduces to five, right? Change. Fives are all about change. Okay, the number 32. Okay, we have, this is a time in your life that can be truly amazing, just like the caterpillar transforming into the beautiful butterfly. You must trust your instincts more and step out of your comfort zone. Even though it may be challenging, the changes you make will be well worth it and a brand new lease on life could be yours. This card indicates a time to move forward and not to look back. It is also a time to be assertive and daring and go for what you want. In relationships, it is a time to let go of anything negative and toxic. A commitment or a celebration is close by. You will be attracting people like magnets. Excellence and plenty, excuse me, excitement and plenty of action surround you. Like-minded people will come into your life, which will be totally amazing. The drought may be over for those looking for love and romance, while the potential for marriage is extremely high. Okay, for money. You may get a promotion, change jobs, start a new career or business, fresh goals are about to be realized and relationships formed. So get out about, get out and about so that you can meet new friends and make new connections. It is a brilliant time for networking. Traveling to new destinations may may see some great business and money opportunities open up. The time is ripe for real excuse me for real estate buying and selling and a flutter on the horizon could go as long as you do your homework. Hmm. Okay, your power tip. Orange, gold and yellow colors seem to be bringing you the best luck. Write out some wishes on paper and keep them in a gold box in the far left area where when looking inside any room. Okay, so put your hopes and wishes in a gold box and set them in the far left area of any room. Okay, beautiful. Okay, that's what we have, Gemini. So beautiful lots of changes happening for you and i feel like this is pushing you to something beautiful something that's going to be very exciting okay gemini if this reading resonates please like and subscribe and um, make sure to hit that like button so subscribe now if you haven't and until your next reading my beauties many blessings to you love and light